So our next um, speaker is actually uh, a patient. His name is Mathieu Jackson. He comes from uh, Quebec. He has moderate hemophilia B. After high school, he was trained in, a professional, in professional cuisine. He then completed a bachelor's degree in French literature at University of Montreal, where he is presently writing his master's thesis in comparative education and fundamentals of education. Mathieu is a board member of the Quebec chapter, and he has been designated to represent Quebec in the CHS Board of Directors. In, the, in CHS, he is a member of the Blood and Safety Committee. He regularly attends conferences and events on behalf of both organizations and writes for both Echo de Factor and Hemophilia Today. He is a full-time employee of the Centre for Excellence in Partnerships with Patients and the Public at the University of Montreal Hospital Research Centre, where he participates in training patients, caregivers, healthcare professionals, researchers, and researchers to work together in partnership healthcare model. As an employee... On the CEPPP, he is presently assisting with the WFH Patient Advisory Panel for the revision of the WFH Hemophilia Treatment Guidelines, chaired by Vincent Domez. Mathieu is a fellow of, uh, of the 2017-2018 International Affirm Program. Mathieu, I would gladly bring you up to your speaker to tell us your experience with MyCBDR. Hi, uh, that's a, uh, also a bit long introduction. Maybe I'll have to shorten it. Um, so I decided to talk to you about a new app without using PowerPoint. Um, don't worry, I'm not trying to make a point. I just thought it wasn't a necessity for uh, giving you the uh, patient perspective, which is what I'm here for. Um, <clears throat> so I uh, grew up using uh, calendars, paper calendars. Um, and um, up to uh, MyCBDR, uh, different methods had been tried. Um, we had other apps, uh, but nothing really compared to uh, the good old calendar. And I have to admit, um, I'm sure a lot of other patients were like me. Uh, I actually did my calendars on paper and then transferred them online when I had a chance or when I was yelled at. <clears throat> uh, but uh, uh, with MyCBDR, I, I, I left paper on the side. Um, I've been using it. Uh, quite regularly, um, and I think the uh, what makes it much easier is the uh, multiple platforms. So I can uh, I can do it on my cell phone from work, on uh, my tablet, um, and on my laptop, and it's uh, you know seamless, very easy, very quick. Um, so mobility and ease of use. You can do it on the road. You can do it uh, wherever you want, and. Um, Another thing I greatly appreciate about uh, MyCBDR is the, the fact that uh, it allows you to um, pull out graphs and visual representations uh, of your uh, factor use um, and your, your bleed occurrences very easily. And uh, what this allows is that I've, I've realized that uh, MyCBDR can then be used uh, as a tool uh, for the patient um, in order to have like a reflexive view on his own uh, self-management. So I can see that in the, the, the last four months, for instance, I've bled um, twice less, and then I can think about it and say, okay, what have I been doing differently? How have I been treating myself? What uh, Are there any changes in my activities, etc.? cetera? So um, that's my patient perspective. Um, I think my CBDR is great. Uh, there's a video out there on uh, on the uh, CHS uh, website you might have seen. I'm I'm in it, so I, I, I go on for a long time about how great uh, my CBDR is and mon RCTC en français. Um, so yeah, uh, get the app. <laughs>